All right, so I had a question about how to analyze drop catch domains, and I'm gonna show you how to do that manually. And also, this will help you with ideas for how to do other things. It will kind of maybe be a, a stream that will lead you in other directions. It'll give you some ideas, a really cool way to do this. Also, there could be tools that analyze drop catch domains. I don't typically use drop catch, but a lot of people do, so I want to show you how to do this. I usually use, as you guys know, Register Compass or Spamzilla, and I catch domains at auction. But I've been really talking to more SEOs lately, some really skilled SEOs who don't really use age domains, and it blows my mind because age domains are like the ultimate cheat. And some of these SEO guys, they're so skilled, and they're getting tons of traffic on these brand new domains and i'm like just do the same thing but just do it on an age domain you're gonna you know it's gonna go so much faster you're gonna save so much time and effort and so realizing how powerful age domains are and utilizing that that skill and building that skill can do a whole lot for your seo career again i'm meeting lots of seo people that have, are really skilled like everywhere but they've never gotten an age domain it blows my mind because they could totally change their whole game so again, I typically use Register Compass and Spamzilla, right, for mine. You guys, if you see my videos, you've watched me do that. If you're a student, you've seen me do that. For Drop Catch, there is tools, I believe. I, again, I don't use Drop Catch, but I believe this is a site you can get some tools for. I've never used any of this, so I don't know exactly how any of this works. But I believe there is tools out there for it. But the way I would do it if I was analyzing Drop Catch domains, and again, this is to show you how to analyze Drop Catch domains, but also give you ideas for other things, other processes that can be made, you know, for example, I didn't know of a tool of this, but I wanted to analyze for something and, and show someone how to do this. So this is how you would do that. So what I would do is I would basically come here and I would go to any auctions with bids because likely those are the ones that have any type of value to them. And then you could also organize by these over here, right? So all the drop domains are going to be the ones that have the age reset, right? So if I come here and I go to any of these domains, I just go to this one here. It looks like a pretty good one. And we go to whois.com and we throw this in. The age is going to be reset because it's a drop domain. All right. Now, if we go back here and we do either private seller or pre-release, well, these right here are not going to reset. Okay, so if I do these two here and I go and check the domain in the who is, well, these domains do not get the who is reset. As you can see, this one's still a year old. It's only a year old, a little over a year old. Uh, without, so that one's not old, but still, it didn't reset. That's the main thing we're looking at here. All right, again, if we look at this one here, now this is a four letter domain, so you could actually um, probably make some money just on that domain name alone. But if we put this in, we can see this was registered in 2001. The age does not reset. Okay, whether it is private or even if it is pre-release, we can do one of the pre-releases down here. So if we go to OregonCatering.com and we go to who is, we will see that the domain is not reset. If it is dropped, then it is reset. Personally, I don't do drop domains, expired domains, because I don't like the who is age being reset because I think that's something an algorithm could easily get rid of all the links before that date. It could easily say, go check the who is date and discount all links made before that date. It could do that. I'm not saying it does that. I don't think it does, but it could be done in the future. And t I just like to have sites that are shown with the age, you know, in the, in, in the who is of the original who is information, right? Or the original registration date, or at least an older date. But let me show you how this is done. So since I don't do drop domains, I would only do private seller and pre-release. And then from here, I would probably do like 100 at a time. So yeah, because I have 100 set here. And then what I would do is come and copy all this. So what I'm going to do is just come up here. And I'm going to copy all of this. And we're just going to go from here. We're going to copy it. We're going to go to ChatGPT. And you can see I've already been doing this just to test it. And I'm going to say, please extract all URLs from the following, okay? What this is gonna do, and it's gonna paste in these, the stuff I just copied from dropcatch.com, and then what it's gonna do is it's gonna start listing out all the URLs that is in that text that I just copied from, you know, from dropcatch.com. So now as this is rolling, once it's done, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy all these, oh, australianbullying.com, I wanna check, I might wanna check that out from my gold sites. So we'll actually take a look at that. Uh, so let's remember that, australianboolean.com. That might be one that I actually want. So let's go ahead and copy these. And, whoops, there we go. 
So I'm going to copy these. And now what I'm going to do to analyze is come here. We're going to go to my address count. We're going to go to more. We're going to go to batch analysis. And we're going to throw all these in and we're going to analyze. Now this is going to give us a thousand foot overview of all these domains we just checked out. So what we can do now is organize by like the total amount of referring domains. So if we do from top to bottom, bam, there is your domains with the highest amount of referring domains. Okay, by, or you can organize by domain rating. So this one right here, chefbega.com, or chefbega.com, now we could look at personally because we see some pretty good stats here, right? Domain rating of 35, 930 referring domains. So pretty good, right? It's, 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 it's a pretty good link portfolio. Now we would have to see if the links back up those stats. So if we come here, we can see the links aren't that great. Okay, we don't like these links so far. Um, not super high authority to start with. I want to see 90s up here if we're starting with a domain that has 800 referring domains. We see some some weird URLs here, foreign, anchored. Like, I don't, I don't want this. This isn't something I want. But then what I would do is I would go to the next one. So we got this one here, which also has 769 referring domains. Whoops. So let me just right-click and copy. And we're going to throw this guy in hrefs. And then we're going to check out its links. Okay, and this one's a little better so far. At least I know the site that's coming from. We got Tumblr, Medium, but all they're all they're all no file stuff. Blog loving, easy links to get. Like this isn't a super great site, and that's why I typically don't do drop catch because they don't usually have the best sites. Usually you're going to find the best sites at auction, like GoDaddy, Namejet, uh, you know, Dynadot, things like that. But a lot of people do use drop catch for certain other reasons, and you can get much cheaper domains here. But that's how you can roll through these and kind of find these organized by the stats that you want. Now, where was that Boolean one? I want to go check that out. Boolean, okay, it has no links going to it, so I don't really want that. All right, so if it had some good links going to it, maybe that would be a domain I wanted. And then, of course, what you would do is just go to the next page. If you're done analyzing these, you go copy all these URLs. You throw them in ChatGPT. You say do the same thing. You copy them, throw them into batch analysis, and then, boom, you have your, your, you know, your stats. So... Two reasons I show you this. Number one is obviously to figure out how to analyze drop catch domains without any tools. Okay, well, you need Ahrefs, but without any other tools, like a, like a specific tool like Register Compass or something like that. And then secondary is to show you that there's always a process to do something with AI now that you can come up with yourself. Like, so even if I couldn't find a tool that did this for me, and showed all the stats and all that like register compass does so nicely well then you can do it yourself with chat gpt and, and copying and pasting and and things like that all right so for those of you who are into drop catch hopefully this helps you with analyzing and of course you can do all different options over here for choosing stuff uh, and and organizing your results and of course the way you look at your batch analysis you can change things around but this is a super simple way to kind of analyze domains that are on dropcatch.com